Welcome back, League Igniters. We're back for another one. We are gonna do a bat review. We finally have been looking to get our hands on a monster tripping, and we've got like a billion of them right now. So we're gonna swing some of them today. We're gonna let you know what we think about it. Let us know what we're swinging right now, Jake. All right, so thanks to Vince, one of our subscribers, for sending us this 27 ounce end load with a 3500 stiffness handle. This is the stiff handle. Uh, M8 Tech on this Monster Trippin. And then we've also got a 25.5 end load with a 4500 super stiff handle, courtesy of Brandon Lynn. Uh, this one's just this is just here to look pretty, pretty to look at, still in the wrapper. Um, Brandon Lynn's got them available if you're looking for one. <laughs> <laughs> but we wanted to check out a couple of them with different weights, different stiffnesses, and really get a good sense of what felt good, what performed well. We've got the pocket radar out here today again. So you'll really get a sense of how they're coming off the barrel. We'll give you some feedback about how they felt. And uh, yeah, we'll check them out and see if they're all that uh, the hype is about. All right, sweet. Let's do it. Shout out again to Brandon Lynn for letting us unwrap this uh, 25.5 inload Monster Torch Trippin. Uh, excited to see what this thing's all about. We also got a 27 ounce here that we'll swing a little bit too. Shout out to Vince, uh, one of our subscribers sent it to us to check out and see what we thought. And uh, I know there've been a lot of questions about these things, so we'll, uh, we'll check it out and see what we think. We got the pocket radar going right now, so you'll get some exit VLOs on these things. And uh, hopefully it'll be some fun, some fun footage, fun to swing, and uh, maybe you'll want to buy one yourself. Definitely a stiff handle. 70 Ooh. miles per hour. This thing hour. has no forgiveness. <laughs> 84 miles per hour. Yeah. 78 miles per hour. Short port. 72 yeah, miles nice. per hour. Oh. Eighty-seven miles per hour. Eighty-one miles per hour. That was better. Eighty-five miles per hour. Eighty-three miles per hour. Get it! Oh. Eighty-four miles per hour. That's all right. Twenty-five five. Light boy. Light boy. Off the handle. Hurts. 78 miles per hour. Hold that one a little bit. Ooh. 83 miles per hour. Yeah. 74 miles per hour. Wow, I feel like my view is really low on these. 78 miles per hour. 78 mile an hour. Bomb. 82 miles per hour. Okay. 78 miles per hour. Maybe. Got me. 69 miles Ouch. per hour. <laughs> Ouch. Woo.
felt good actually. I didn't clean my hand. Good. All right. Let's see what the, all the hype's about. Decided to swing it. Let's go. the tripping. Really nice, stiff handle, but lots of pop. 81 miles per hour. See that? Yeah. 41 miles per hour. Yeah. Did it say 41? It did. I'm not sure that's accurate. 77 that miles per move. hour. Whoa! That thing did not move. Did you see it do this in the air though? <laughs> Dude, that thing knuckled so hard. 85 miles per hour. I know, it's crazy. Dude, the line drives are like insane in this bat. 85 miles per hour. <laughs> 88 miles per hour. Woo! Lots of knuckle balls. 89 miles per hour. Woo, 89, that's my top. <laughs> For the fans. I'm sorry. He's a monster. All right, so we took some hacks on some trip-ins. Now we're going to figure out what we thought about it. So tell us what you think, Jay. Which one? There's two of us. Tell us what you think, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so... Uh, like I said earlier, we got the 27 ounce end load with the 3500 stiffness handle, so the stiff handle. We've got the 25.5, which was brand new out of the wrapper that had the 4500, the super stiff handle. And I gotta tell you, I think I like the 27 more. It is a little bit more broken in, but the barrel felt a lot more forgiving. When you missed it anywhere on that 25.5 <laughs> with the 4500, it was feedback central. You were just getting rung up yeah. hard. Um, I did notice we were kind of playing around and just based on the swing, the, the sweet spot seems to be from like the middle of the monster symbol to probably close to the end of the wing. You know, so you're talking about a three or four inch sweet spot. So the sweet spot was kind of small on this barrel, which I was surprised about. And it was definitely more towards the end. Yeah. But when you got it with this thing, I mean, I can't tell you how many knuckleballs we were hitting with yeah, this and they were all them. over the place. So. I really liked it. I would probably err on the side of the 3500 handle just because it felt a little bit more forgiving. And if you missed it, you really just weren't getting stung. Jamie? Um, I was swinging the 25.5 end load and uh, gotta be honest, I really liked it. Yeah. Uh, I felt the stiffness was fantastic. It allowed me to really have bat control. Yeah, yeah. Um, I found just placing it in different spots was a lot easier than normal. Um, I wasn't really going for bombs. Um, not that I can really hit them that far anymore, <laughs> but bat control was really key uh, for this bat, so I would highly recommend the 25.5 end load. Um, and again, the stiffness didn't really make a difference for me. Um, yeah, really liked it. I liked the 25.5 because we sw I swung it first. Um, I even was like thinking in my head if I could convince Brandon to like trade me the one I have on order. <laughs> but it uh, turns out after swinging the 27 in load, that was by far my favorite. Um, 
Jason said it to me afterwards that he thinks that might've been one of the best rounds of BP I've had in a long time. I would tend to agree. I mean, everything I hit with that, like I hit a bunch of bombs and then like halfway through, I was like, all right, let's, let's see if we can just hit some, some like line drives. And they were just lasers off the fence. And I, it felt great. Uh, I've been even, you know, theorizing that maybe I should go up and wait for a while now anyway, and I think this at least confirms a little bit of those suspicions. So. Check, check next week's episode where we'll actually tell you a little right. bit about bat weight differences and see what you think. Exactly, exactly. So for me, 27 with the end load felt awesome, and that's that's the route I would go. And thankfully, I uh, had ordered that exact bat <laughs> before I'd swung it, kind of as just took a flyer on it, but I'm, I'm glad I did. So. I think that's gonna be the one for me. The only other thing that I would add is the 25.5 is like your typical monster where yeah. it does feel about a half to a full ounce heavier. Yeah. But I will add that the 27 that is an ounce and a half heavier than that bat doesn't feel an ounce and a half heavier no. than you would expect. No. So if you're swinging a 25.5 and it feels like a 26.5, I would have expected this to feel like a 28 or maybe even a little heavier. And I didn't think that it felt noticeably heavier and the performance of the heavier bat definitely showed up. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, that's our monster trip and review. I think uh, consensus is we like it. So <laughs> we do. <laughs> Might be new gamers in the bags. We don't know quite yet, but we'll find out soon. So thanks you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.